I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. believe this landscape. I keep driving and I keep being amazed. Look at this. driving through this area. When we got here, it was dark last night, so we had no idea the amazing rock formations and buttes, and I don't even know what you would call all these things, but they're pretty amazing. It's just a completely different landscape than what we left up in the mountains. how they look with the sun shining on them. I know, right? We had to just pull over on the side of the road and stop. Feels like driving into some Bugs Bunny Roadrunner cartoon. This place is awesome. We are right here at mile marker 13 on 163, Highway 163. In Southern Utah. In Southern Utah, very Southern Utah. Like we probably throw a rock and hit Arizona. Well, 13 miles off the border, so. Um, this is uh, this is the exact point where Forrest Gump stopped running at. And for obvious reasons, it's just the iconic view here. I know. Of Monument Valley, like this is where Bugs Bunny started it all. <laughs> <laughs> but Forrest Gump put it on the map. That's right. It's actually called, what's it called now? Forrest Gump Point. Yeah. Yep. There Literally used to be a sign on the here, map. Apparently, but uh, they took the sign down. But this is, yeah, this is that spot. And actually, with all the stuff that you saw us doing, it was actually very difficult for us to do that opening sequence just because there are a lot of people here. Yeah. Everybody's here. There's people laying in the road over there taking pictures and and all sorts of stuff because it's just like the iconic spot. You just don't get views like this very often in your yeah. life. Everybody obviously wants to stop here and get pictures. Whether they're passing through or even if it's off their path, they will swerve out of their way to get here like we did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised more people aren't hit by cars here to be honest. Right. Because <laughs> people like, people are like, some people are slowing down and a lot of people are just <laughs> Yeah, they should at least reduce the speed limit to 15 miles per hour like a school zone or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This place is like a photographer's dream. It is. It totally is. Like, it is so incredibly picturesque. So when you read about this place online, the big advice they give you is that it's super crowded in the afternoon, so you should come in morning, right? So we get here this morning and it's super crowded. There's several cars and just passenger vehicles, a big tour bus just pulled in oh, right yeah. in front this of huge us. Prevost tour bus right in front of us. Yeah, the, with tons of people piling out. So, and then, so we tried to do all our filming and shooting like with all these people in the way and in the background that, you know, we just had to deal with it. And then it just got really empty, like around 8.30 or so. Yeah. It just got empty. There's like a couple of cars here and there every once in a while and that's it. So my best advice would be definitely to come in the morning because it's a lot cooler. It gets pretty hot out here during the day, but 
to just give yourself enough time to just hang around and maybe wait for the crowd to clear out a little bit so you can get that epic shot that 100%, you want. 100%, 100%. Just give yourself, if you're interested, if you're filming content especially, like just give yourself the time because you're going to want to get that running up the road shot and stuff like that. There's cars coming. There's 10 other couples trying to get the middle of the road shot. Yeah. So like... And just they're doing really cute, creative yeah, stuff, like very. cute, creative poses out there in the road that they're shooting. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was kind of fun to watch, it actually. It was, yeah, they were cute. Yes. I think I'll go home now. There's motorcycles coming behind you. All right, you got what you want? I do, yeah. I'm like thoroughly stoked. Even though it's not even 9 a.m. yet, okay. we have to get on the road because we have some distance Show to everybody. cover to, oh. to make it to our next stop in the same day. So we got to get on the way. Show me how many people are here right now. Oh, yeah, a few more cars have shown up. But we had an empty spell there for a while. Oh, look at the jewelry over here, though. So how long did it take you to build that? Three years. He was just kind of working on the weekends on it and stuff because he yeah, was still working. Yeah, I was working, working full time, time so. Oh. These little turtle bracelets are so stinking cute. Notice her shirt. Oh. Yeah, and in the bus, in our shower, I built yeah. a, I did a broken yeah, tile mosaic it. and there's a turtle in the shower too. Right. We just watched your videos. Oh, oh did you? Oh, that's so cool. Are these all the same size? They're probably all the same, huh? It's kind of cute though. Have you guys oh, there's a white here? one too. We've been living about 11 months now. I think I like the black one the best. I'm gonna go see if I have $10. It was nice meeting you guys. She'll be right back yeah. with $10. I know, probably, <laughs> huh? I'm not good at this. <laughs> you don't have any fingernails. <laughs> it's not about fingernails. There. Look what I got. How perfect is that? She's wearing a turtle shirt today. Yeah, how crazy is it that I was actually even wearing my turtle shirt? And I found the cute turtle bracelet. So awesome! Now I have two turtle bracelets. <laughs> it's just a neat experience, like, to see people so inspired by something like this. Where they see the work you've done and, and they feel like it's within their reach. I think that's right. Neat. It's it makes it realistic it makes all it of a real sudden. To them. Yeah. I like that. I think it's We've real. given two tours of our bus this morning while we're parked here at Forest Gump Point. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how it goes wherever we go. That's it. All right, let's get so, the road. So okay, yeah. I guess that is it. We're on our way to our next destination. Welcome to the cute little town of Mexican Hat, Utah. Wouldn't you agree one of the most fun things about these road trips is that you can just stop and take pictures and see things and do things. You can do whatever you want along the way. Yeah, you don't have to like, you don't have to rush. Yeah. And I think... We are in a sense we're rushing. Kind of. We got a little, we got into a little bit of a time crunch when our car was broken down yeah. and it had to be fixed and it threw us off by several days. So we're going a little bit faster than we normally would, but not so fast that we can't stop and do things like this. Yeah. And I think, you know, like, we don't know the next time we're gonna be coming down this road, if ever. So, like, we have to stop and get Mexican hat. It's so cute, <laughs> little guy. It is, I know, I haven't even showed it yet. You know, I didn't even understand, even when I first saw it, I was like, why do they call it Mexican hat? It's just a big flat thing. And then I was like, oh, upside down and let me film for a second it's an upside down sombrero isn't that so cute orange rocks on this side of the road purple 
people in white rocks on this side of the road. Ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Again. Okay. Can't help it, I have to stop all the time. I know, there's too many cool things we keep driving past. I want to pull off and, and get the precise uh, measurements here, but I am fairly certain we're very close. This is Utah, you guys. It is so beautiful here and we're barely just driving through a small little section but it is absolutely magnificent i feel like i want to spend more time in utah look at how crazy this is i can't even fit it all in the camera at once this is just what it looks like here i mean people who live here are probably just used to this it's amazing and this little trading post right here cow canyon trading post looks like it's in some kind of a historical old building really neat but we don't have time to go in we have to get back on the road to our next destination i don't know what just happened but mike just kind of swerved off the road so and then he said on the radio that a bunch of things fell down in there so i gotta go see how bad the damage is all right, what happened? So, um, as we were going around that curve, the the inside tire got a little bit off the road. But when I say a little bit off the road, it was a very oh, steep so off. then it pulled it off. So it was pulling me. So yeah. when I got back on the road, like it overcompensated as soon as it got back on the road. And when I went back this way, oh my gosh! So yeah. There was a bag of apples on the kitchen counter that went everywhere. Oh my God. Look at my plates, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's a good thing I was just gonna break those anyway. Oh, but still, that is a huge mess to clean up and now they're not gonna go in a stack anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to do the best I can back here, but I need some kind of a... Oh, could you give me that cardboard box from behind the wood burning stove? That would be perfect for all the broken pieces. So, three, four of them survived without broken, but I have no idea how many are broken. You know, I'm not super surprised because here, let me show you. These are the stacks of plates in the cupboard. There's two huge stacks. I think each stack is 30 plates. So the top of this stack just like completely slid off, hit the cupboard door, making it open and allowing all those plates to just crash on the floor out here. So, but that has never happened before, but we've never like hit a big bump like that before. So. Okay, is that everything then? Yeah. We're at least roadworthy again. Yeah. The, the damage is done. The plates are boxed up. Everybody now on the road again. I forgot to 
USA, for those of you who don't know, it doesn't matter that the plates got broken because all those plates in my cupboard are to finish the broken dish mosaic in our bathroom. So the shower is completely done, but the other wall isn't done yet and the little divider in the shower. Anyway, those plates were gonna get broken anyway. It's totally no big deal. Even the GPS is showing like the four corners. And guess what? We're in Colorado now. We're just passing from one state to the next so quickly. Mike is four-wheeling through these mud ruts over here. <laughs> According, we have to wear masks here because we're on uh, Navajo, Navajo land. land. All the reses have been like adamant about that. Yeah. Um, but the actual mark is not right where uh, the mark they have it. But it's it's within the monument there. Oh, I know. It's right. You just walk right over and to it. I'm wondering it. if they have it actually marked or not. That'd be interesting. Um, I bet you somebody has marked it. Right. So here's what it looks like. Just walking up to the monument. Come over here. Wait, where are we? Where are we starting from? No, but where are we starting? Oh, I want to look at this. Hold on. We're in Arizona right now. Are we really? Back yeah. on home turf? Mm -hmm. After all that? Yeah, see there's the Arizona flag. Oh, so that's how I was trying to figure out how you could tell. So, okay. Yeah, so we just walk around. There's the Arizona flag right there. The beautiful Arizona flag. Watch your step in my trip and fall into Utah. Hello. Oh, beautiful. All right. We're definitely in Arizona right now. Definitely. Oh, this stuff's really pretty, man. I know, right? It's beautiful. Going into Utah right now. You're, you're about to go to Utah? You're leaving me? And going to Utah? I've attained a different state. <laughs> I'm coming over. Come on over and uh, come on over. Ooh, pretty colors. Okay, we're in Utah. We're going to go over to the actual four corners here in a second. Right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's the actual four corner location. Wait, hold on. So right here is the actual geological or uh, USGS corner mark is actually right here. That's an older, older. Um, From earlier surveys yeah. when they're, they were less precise. Or possibly different data. Yeah. yeah different. So right here, we're like standing on it. And this is in Utah. That's the Utah state flag up there. Yeah. Also a cool looking flag. So the real Four Corners is actually in Utah. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, I mean, this is, this, that's obviously the point right there. I like all these permanent booths they have set up though. That was really brilliant. Yeah. So they can still be here in all kinds of weather. That's everybody standing in line for the photo op where you get to actually see and be in all four states at once. Do you feel like standing in that line? Um, Solid hour. 
Yeah, I kind of don't. But right. if we're not going to stand in that line, then we need to do the next best thing. We've okay. decided that we're not going to stand in the mile long line to get a picture. Here, let me just show you. Here's the beginning of the line, the person who's going next, and it goes all the way back here and then all the way along to right behind those trees over there. Oh my gosh. Look, I have to show you how pretty it is. I think it's beautiful where the states are carved into these, I don't know, like tile, I guess it probably is. I like that, Utah, Colorado. Where's Once again, I've been, I've been enlisted to take pictures of people. I know, huh? And there's my home state, Arizona. You guys, I was born and raised in Arizona my whole life. There you go. Thank you. Are you totally getting it? Thank you. Oh, I wish I. Thank you. All right, we're on our the Bus McBus Face Four State Tour. Right now, <laughs> the Four Corners Tour. It's a very short tour, but uh, we do go cover four states. <laughs> Some of you may not know this, but these four states are the only four states in the entire United States where four states come together and touch like that. There's plenty of places where it happens with three states, but this is the only place where it happens with four. So it's just special and unique. And I can't believe I've lived my whole life in one of the four corners states and never actually visited the four corners. Yeah. So I feel like I'm taking care of things that I should have done years ago in my life, but now I'm getting to enjoy them and do them them now <laughs> all in one week right <laughs> the speed tour we got to get to Alamosa I have to say after walking through four states I thought I'd be a lot more tired than <laughs> I, I don't think I even got any exercise I feel like today. <laughs> all right was it worth it I say it was worth it it was novel but it was still pretty cool yeah it was very um there's not a lot of other attraction around it. Oops, I can take these off now. There's not a lot of other attraction around it. Like I was kind of hoping there would be some kind of a small little mini museum and like, you know, some kind of interesting information and like an indoor gift shop. But it's just all those little jewelry stands all the way around all four of states so yeah, it's, 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 there wasn't that like, much to see when you go to these jewelry stands what you find is just like the same beadwork the same beads the same yeah. little shapes and stuff to a certain extent you yeah. see a lot of the same every once in a while you find something a little unique or different at somebody's stand but oh my gosh it would take you all day to go around and look at every single stand and then decide what piece of jewelry you liked the most I already got my turtle bracelet today. That's right. I'm groovy. It's been a lot of driving the last few days. Guys. And a lot of fun. And a but lot of fun. But since we made it to four states in one day, we thought this would be the perfect time for the magnetic states of America. We made it to four states in about 12 minutes actually i mean you know we're special like that so we're starting with the states we've been to arizona obviously heck yeah and oops i better go over here huh new mexico and utah and colorado 
Yes. And this is not to say that we're done with these four states because we definitely have not finished with New Mexico. New Mexico is an awesome state, you guys. There's Carlsbad Caverns, White Sands, the Badlands of New Mexico. There's Meow Wolf in Santa Fe. There's the Balloon Festival in Albuquerque, the Hatch Green Chili Festival. Oh, yeah. And what you just mentioned. Roswell. Plus the very large array for you oh, UFO or UAP enthusiasts. Yeah, I want to see that bad, actually. I know, right? We're definitely going there. So, And same for Utah, although, like, I don't know all the names. I know there's Zion and there's Moab. And there's like a thousand other amazing places in Utah that I just don't even know the names of right off the top of my head. So yes. we're not done with these states, but... Well, we got a check you know, mark here. Yeah. Right here. We got started. And, and I can't decide, I don't know if I'm going to put up, if I'm going to put away the rest of the states until we get to them, or if I should put them up, but like keep them separate up here. Right, just something. all random up there. I don't there, know, huh? you guys, let us know what you think in the yeah, comments. Yeah, tell us what you guys think. That's a good idea. Thank you guys for watching. We love having you guys along. We really As do. As always. And it's, it's like, please leave a comment, especially about this. We need to know if we hang them over here, just put it away. We need to know, but we love your comments. We read every one I of know, them. I know, that's our favorite part. Yeah, it is. We just sit there and we read them together. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to help us out, head over to our uh, Patreon yeah. and sign up to be a patron. That would really help us. If yeah. not, go over our Etsy page, Etsy page, get yourself a t-shirt or a sticker, and I put some of my art up there. Oh, and speaking of Etsy, I have a special message for, what is her name? I think it's Andrea Dixon. You sent us a message about my eyeglass chain, and we lost the message. We couldn't remember where the message was at. We were looking all over Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. and YouTube comments, and it was on Etsy all along. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting up some of my eyeglass chains on Etsy for those of you who like my little burst of color around the neck. And so she can see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It drives <laughs> me crazy being blind. I know that it instantly ages me by 20 years the instant I put this around right. my neck, but I don't care. It makes me insane when I'm blind. So Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys next week. Thursday next time. From wherever we might be. From wherever we might be. <laughs> Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.